I want to say that this bill is not only important, but we must approach it from this very positive perspective that it's not about giving loans or grants to farmers. I recall when I was in the House of Representatives, I moved a motion when the 200 billion granted by the Obas and Joe administration then for the relief of um, farmers. Sorry, the Yadadu administration, I'm sorry. The Yadadu administration. When the money spent over a year in commercial banks, I moved the motion and the House then resolved by resolution and invited Abba Ruma, the then Minister of Agriculture, and eventually it led to the distribution of that money that had no positive impact at all. What I want to say, Mr. President, is not about giving assistance to low-scale farmers in terms of grants or loan. We must ask that whatever we are going to do now should be assistance in terms of seedlings, assistance in terms of implements, assistance in terms of building storage facilities across our rural areas for perishable um, farm items, assistance by building rural roads to our various farms, assistance by the provision of irrigation for our farmers, assistance by properly funding our river basins. Not because as, as far as it's going to be monetary assistance to individuals, friends of government, and political associates, we will never get to the bottom of um, actualizing our agricultural dreams. So I want to advise that assistance should be, or grants should be granted in this perspective, and that is the only way we can boost agriculture. And young and aspiring farmers like myself we one day get to the level and stage of Senator uh, Abdullah Adamu, who is already due for retirement as president of Nigerian Farmers. I will contest with you next time. So please, uh, Mr. President, my advice is that it's a very wonderful bill, but we must provide implement and facilities that will promote agriculture instead of sharing money to individuals. Thank you. To foster Gala. Distinguished colleagues, I am Foster Gola. I represent Bielsa State, particularly Bielsa West in the Turia District. I rise to support this bill, which is well crafted and for the first time. We shall be having a law to commercialize agriculture and uh, provide the needed funds. Mr. President, what we need, as in part two of this bill, is to ensure the proper coordination between the central bank, the ministries of agriculture, and water resources to ensure the smooth implementation of this bill so that it will not fall into the same trap that the present policy on agricultural lending has faced. Presently, there is a policy for 9% annual interest rate, but the farmers are not having access to it. Be it the first phase of 100 billion or the balance of it, and so this 500 billion being proposed is good for a start, but the fund should be a revolving fund and not a one-time fund. The bill should also be configured 
to include the services of extension farmers so that there will be improvement on the skills of the rural farmers, which is the mainstay of agriculture in Nigeria. Because all commercial schemes by governments at state or federal level have always failed. Let the implementation phase of this bill be properly crafted and which we shall do through the public hearing. If this bill is implemented and that it will not be hijacked by the portfolio farmers in the country, then it will be good for Nigeria. But this bill should also be pursued vigorously to include the standardization, the proper grading and storage of agricultural produce to ensure it meets international standards for export and local consumption. So, Mr. President, this bill is due to be passed 